Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm experimenting with the new ring light that I got. I'm so excited. I use it in my previous tutorial if you haven't seen it already. I'll leave that linked down below. So I haven't really used it too much so I'm still experimenting with what looks good, what lighting works, what doesn't. So bear with me at this point in time. But today I'm going to be doing a mermaid eye, smoky eye look for you guys. So I hope you do enjoy it. I will do a voiceover for it just to kind of keep things moving. I feel like I can get a little bit too chatty sometimes and the videos end up being like 10,000 years long. So I will keep it pretty short and sweet, hopefully. We'll see. But yeah, just bear with me with the lighting at the moment. I mean, I think it looks good, but we'll see. If you guys do prefer me to use more natural lighting in my videos as well, Please let me know. I will be using a bit of both. I'll use natural lighting. I'll use this ring light sometimes, depending on the time of day and the weather. Today it's very stormy outside. So I thought it best to use a bit of fake lighting. But yeah, let me know if you guys would prefer natural lighting. Because I know a lot of you do like that I use natural lighting too. So let me know. Otherwise, without further ado, we're going to get straight into the eye makeup. Okay guys, so first things first. I'm going to grab my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre and I'm applying that all over my eyelids to neutralize them and create a nice blank even canvas for the eyeshadows that we're going to be applying on top. You can go in with a white cream base if you want the colors to really stand out and show up really pigmented. I just went in with a neutralizing base but it's up to you. For our first initial shade, I'm going to take this beautiful, soft, kind of mauvey purple shade from Makeup Geek in the shade Wisteria. And I'm applying that to the inner third of my crease with a nice fluffy blending brush. I want to be quite a soft blend through the crease. We are working with colours today, so my biggest tip for you is to start off soft and build up from there. If you go in too ham and like too quickly with too much product, it's a lot harder to blend out and create a nice soft smoky effect. So my tip is just to take it slow and build up the colors slowly. Next, I'm taking this beautiful kind of aquary blue shade and I'm applying that with a fluffy blending brush again, making sure to take it now on the outer third of the eye. So I'm basically creating a nice sharp outer V. I'm buffing it out all the way to the tail of my brow so it extends the eye out and creates a nice kind of feline cat eye effect. Once you've got a nice soft blend like this, the initial kind of shape to the eye, I'm going to take this beautiful sky blue shade on a more petite crease brush and I'm applying that on the outer two thirds of the eye where we place that aquary kind of bluey green shades down. And I'm basically mapping out that outer corner kind of sharp wing. So I'm just deepening up the crease basically. So first of all I'm applying that just underneath the lighter like transition shades that we used before and just building up the color, winging it out towards the tail of the brow again because I do want that sharp really cat eye effect to really blow out this smoky eye. Then taking some of that green and that aquary blue shade I'm going to go back in and just use them to buff out the like sky blue color. I love to go back and forth between the previous shades just to build them up again. Sometimes they can get blended away. It also helps create that beautiful soft blend between all the colors because you are going back and forth and just kind of building up when necessary, blending out when necessary and just kind of softening any harsh lines and edges. Next on a tapered blending brush from Morphe, I'm going in with Neptune which is a beautiful kind of royal blue shade. And I'm packing that again underneath that sky blue color in the outer crease area, the outer V. I'm also going to take it all the way through the crease towards the inner corner of the eye, about two thirds of the way across. So I'm basically following the shape that we've created with the other shades. So just flicking it out towards the tail of the brow and taking it back through the crease, creating that nice sharp outer V area. Then I go back in with the previous shades, so some of that sky blue shade and I blend out the edges. And then I go back in with some of those like green and aqua blue shade and I blend out those edges. So basically, like I said before, I'm just going back and forth between all the shades to create a nice, soft, blended, smoky eye. And that's my biggest tip, I guess, for any kind of colored or neutral smoky eye look or any eye look in general, really, is just to go back and forth between all the colors when necessary and just build them up and blend them out. For the next shade, I'm going to take this beautiful deep purple shade from the Chi Chi Pride palette on a pencil brush. So I'm basically just applying this where that mauvey purple shade is in the 
inner corner of the eye that inner crease area and then I go back in with some of wisteria on that blending brush to soften any edges then I go back in with some of Neptune on that pencil brush and I'm just deepening it up a little bit more making sure that that blue is really defined in the outer crease area once you have something a little like this we're going to kind of cut the crease shall we say I'm taking this absolutely stunning foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek in the shade black light and I'm basically cutting my crease with that. You can of course go in with a base like a cream eyeshadow or even like some concealer and carve out your lid with that. I just thought the shadow is pigmented enough. I don't want it to be too like a cut crease of an eye. I want it to be more of a smoky eye kind of effect so I didn't want the cut crease to be so harsh as it would if I did use a cream base beforehand. So I went in, used the black light shade all over the lid then I go back in with some of Neptune and kind of like smoke it into the outer corner of the eye. I just wanted black light to fade into Neptune on the outer corner. And I go back again. I use a precise shader brush to carve out the crease per se. Then I go in with a flat chisel shader brush from Morphe to just kind of pack on that eyeshadow all over the lid. And then I like to go back in with Neptune on the outer V and kind of create a little smoky wing effect. Next I grab this beautiful kind of glitter eyeshadow from the Chi Chi palette. It's very similar to black light and I pack it all over the lid area. Then I go in with actual chunky glitter this time. This is from Sparkle Pig. I got it from Etsy. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a holographic glitter and I feel like it really completed this mermaid look. It really highlighted like the scale effect. So I went in with some lash glue and just applied it where black light meets Neptune, just on that outer corner area. And then I went in with the glitter over top. I just wanted to keep it kind of in that area so you can still see the eyeshadow underneath per se. Next I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. And then for lashes today I went in with the feisty lashes from Anitude. I thought they really complemented this eye look because they are a bit more feline. Less shorter on the inner corner, longer on the outer corner, and you can still see the eyeshadow like peeking through the lashes. I didn't want them to cover up too much of the work we've done. Next, I'm going to place a nude eye curl in my waterline. This is from Models Prefer. This is just to open up the eyes a little bit more, make you look more fresh and awake. Then, taking some of that beautiful deep purple shade, I'm going to wiggle that nice and closely against my bottom lash line, keeping it to the outer two thirds, I would say. Then taking some of Neptune, I'm placing that over top to deepen it up ever so slightly more and bring some of that blue in there. Then taking some of that beautiful sky blue shade on a pencil brush, I'm going to buff out the purple and the blue shade. Make sure you always connect it up to your top lid area so you don't have a gap between the bottom lash line and the top lash line. Then taking some of that green and aqua blue shade, I'm going to ever so slightly buff out the sky blue shade. For my bottom lashes, I wanted to be a little bit extra with this mermaid look. So I went in with this blue, this electric blue mascara from Rimmel. It's so, so pretty. I feel like it really tied in well with the bottom lash line with all those blues going on. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to take this beautiful shadow from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's almost like a iridescent -y white. Um, it's called Beam and I'm placing that on the very high point of the brow, so the arch area. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going in with this absolutely beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow which ties in with this look so well. It's called Mermaid, how fitting. <laughs> and it's basically like a iridescent -y green shade. It's so, so stunning. It really does remind me of a mermaid. It's so beautiful. And like I said, I'm just applying that to my inner corners. It's from NYX. It's the Prismatic Eyeshadow range. And that, guys, completes today's eye makeup look. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and let me know what you would like to see in my upcoming videos. I'm so happy with how this mermaid look turned out. And if you have any requests, let me know. Otherwise, have an amazing, amazing day. I love you all so much and thank you for watching. Bye.